The OHOT key is a really interesting tool. It allows you to bring up a set of brush-based poly tools that are sort of a combination between brush-based selection and the poly tool itself. Uh, right now, they've, they, they were executed or implemented right before we put in some of the tools that are based on marking menus. But if you like to use brush tools, this is a really great option uh, in terms of modeling. So if I hold the O key down, it brings up the marking menu. And if I want to do something like uh, smooth, uh, let's go into increase complexity. We can go into smooth and select a series of faces. And as soon as my mouse is lifted, it smooths those tools or executes the command. Another nice thing is it brings up the last uh, tool at the top here. So it's got, uh, if you want to use one over and over again, it's pretty handy to have. Uh, let's try another one. If I wanted to go into something like uh, modify cut faces. So it brings up all the poly tools. It works on selection. And then in this case, it allows me to go right into the cut tool. So it's sort of a, a select execute type tool. Uh, it's been replaced primarily by the control and shift right mouse button click marking menu that's held over poly operations. But if you like brush based tools, this is a really great option in terms of uh, kind of a speedy workflow. The P hotkey comes up next and we'll go ahead and introduce a new scene so we don't have to look at the same thing throughout the entire presentation. And essentially the P hotkey works like this. Select two objects, hit the P key, the first one becomes a child of the second one. So when you move the first one, the other one moves around. Shift P with the child selected, unparents. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the only other thing I would mention about that is you can do that inside the outliner too by just middle mouse button dragging and dropping one object on top of the other. Uh, it also works by unparenting by dragging away from the other object. So that's just another way of parenting. One other thing I wanted to mention about this scene is that the train model that you see here is from TurboSquid and they have a new certification program called Checkmate that uh, it's highly worth checking out. Uh, it's one of the things that they go through uh, as far as error checking their models. So definitely check that out and thanks for uh, thanks to TurboSquid for letting me use their model. So let's keep going. The Q key is pretty handy for getting out of a manipulator mode and after moving an object or rotating and scaling an object. But uh, it has some really great marking menus that give you access to tools that really uh, it's probably the fastest way to get into some of these tools. So if I have an active manipulator, as you see here, and I hit the Q key, it just goes away. I'm enter, I enter into selection mode, basically. Uh, but if I want to do something like select a vertice or uh, use paint select, I have to enter into component mode first. If I hold the Q key down with the left mouse button, I can jump right into paint select mode, and I'm right into component mode as well. All I have to do here from, from here is pick which component that I want to pick. So if I want to go into faces, I just right mouse button click and swipe down and I'm immediately in paint select mode. If I want to go into vertex mode, same thing. I've just swipe to the right or the, to the left rather and I can select vertices. Uh, if I go and hold my right mouse button over top of the object and go back to object mode, I can hold the Q key down and do things like grab the lasso tool. So it's really a fast way to grab individual points. Um, yeah, I can also uh, turn on reflection, which is also accessed by a different marking menu. But Shift Q has another mode that allows, or another marking menu rather, that allows you to pick faces, lines, different points, and so forth. And it doesn't stick to any particular component. So in the case of something like points, you can see that not only do I get poly vertices, but I get CVs, particles, anything that has to do with points. So the Q hotkey is a pretty useful set of marking menus.